EA Sports. It's in the game. Here we are at Bridgetown. Barbados for the one day international between West Indies and New Zealand. It's uncomfortably hot and humid here today. The players are going to suffer out there in these conditions, I reckon. You had a look at uh, the pitch a little earlier, Jim. What do you reckon? Good morning, Richie. This pitch is very dry and flat. The bowlers are going to have a hard time of it out here, although it might start to deteriorate as the match wears on. The batsmen should score plenty of runs, especially the side batting first. I bat first out here. Back to you, Richie. Nevin is going to face the first ball of the innings. the first runs of the day for Nevin. New Zealand move on to one. Astle facing. Stopped by Lara. It's a mix-up with the batsman. He looked as if he was home to me. That's a big appeal. He's out. So then, that's the end of Astor. Well, he hasn't troubled the scorers with that innings. Vincent is the new batsman. Vincent takes guard. A very good over. Only one offered in the end. A clean to begin a new spell. That's delicately played. Right. 
Campbell out there in the deep. I think he was easily back in the crease there. Good running between the wickets can add those extra few runs to the total that can really make a difference when it comes down to the wire. the first runs of the day for Vincent. Coffee oh. to begin a new over. Stopped by Samuels. Vincent waiting at the striker's end. Steered expertly into the gap. Coffee to bowl to Nevin. Nevin waiting at the striker's end. Hit straight to a fielder. New Zealand will be looking to take full advantage of the early fielding restrictions by scoring some quick runs. McLean to begin a new over. Well, the batsman didn't look at all comfortable there. That's good bowling. Steered expertly into the gap. He looked as if he was home to me, but clean to bowl to Nevin. Played into the gap. Batsmen are coming back for two. Campbell reaches it before it crosses the boundary. There's a mix-up with the batsman. McLean to Nevin. Forty-six overs are left in the innings. Coffee to begin a new over. Done him. He really shattered the stumps with that one. Well bowled there. He kept it straight and waited for the batsman to make a mistake. Vincent goes for three. Stopped by McLean. Coffee at the start of his run up. Oh. 
Those are the first runs for Fleming. That's the end of the fifth over, a clean to begin a new over. That's gone high in the air. A great take by Chandler. Well held, but must have stung his hands coming down from that height. Fleming goes for only one. Cairns takes his place at the crease. Cairns is off the mark. Campbell sprinting along the boundary. That's through, bowl him. Always a great sight for the bowler to see the batsman stump out of the ground. Great bowl in there, perhaps a bit of extra pace, and it went straight through it. Cairns goes for only two. He wasn't there for very long, as his score shows. The next batsman in is the right-handed McMillan. Very good over. Only two off it in the end. Go! It's straight a pal. Should just go for four runs. Nevin moves into double figures with those runs. New Zealand move on to 16. Tuffy continues. Tuffy continues. There should be some runs here. Picked up on the boundary by Campbell. 43 overs are left for New Zealand. McLean to begin a new over. That's the first runs of the day for McMillan. The batsmen are in trouble here. McMillan is now on strike. McLean at the start of his run up. It's straight at Chanderpaul. Oh. The 
fielder will cut that off. The batsmen are after two. Great job done by the fielder in the deep. McLean to bowl to McMillan. Stopped by Lara. 42 overs are left in the innings. Coffee to begin a new over. Not timed perfectly, but um, they'll get some runs anyway. Campbell reaches it before it crosses the boundary. Batsman looking for three. Trouble here. I think he was easily back in the crease there. Got it into the gap. Fielded down at fine leg by McLean. It's straight at Lara. Cuffey to bowl to McMillan. That's gone high in the air. That's the first boundary for McMillan. Eight runs came from that over by Cuffey. McLean to begin a new over. There it goes. And he's got away with it. Batsman looking for three. There's a mix up with the batsman. McLean continues. Let's run away and could well go for four. Nevin has now moved into the 20s. McLean continues. Nice shot, but it won't make it to the boundary. Fielded in the deep by Campbell. There it goes. Powell had to make up a lot of ground there. It took an age to come down. The batsman really skied that one. Nevin has gone for 23. That's not a good way to get out, and that will be playing on his mind. Adams comes in at number seven. It's in the air. Adams goes for a duck. So then, that's the end of Adams. Well, it wasn't the longest innings ever, and certainly not the highest score in the world. The new batsman is the left-handed Harris. That's the end of the tenth over.
That's gone high in the air. That takes him into double figures. That's gone high in the air, and he's got away with it. He looked as if he was home to me. Off he continues. It's in the air. He picked the length quickly with that one. Well, it was in the air, but there's no one there. No risk. Off he continues. That's gone high in the air. But Millen has moved into the 20s and is starting to look far more relaxed. Thirty-nine overs are left for New Zealand. We're about to see the first bowling change. Must be close. And the umpire's given it. So then, that's the end of Harris. He hasn't managed to make the scorers work much with that innings. Nash is the new batsman for New Zealand. Nash takes his place at the crease. That has to be close. He's out. So then, that's the end of Nash. A first ball duck. His teammates will be merciless when he gets back with the dressing room. The new batsman is the left-handed Vittori. Pearl on a hat-trick. Those are the first runs for Vettori. Oh. 38 overs are left in the innings. Tuffy to begin a new over. There it goes. That's the first boundary for Vettori. The score is now 8 for 57. Oh, that's close. The umpire turned that one down, but uh, it did look very close. The umpire didn't have to think too hard about that one. Well, Richie, they're appealing a lot. The more they appeal, the less likely the umpire is to give it out. Not a difficult decision for the umpire. Stopped by Al. A fee to bowl to Vittori. There it goes. That ball was at the fence in no time at all. Lovely shot. It raced away to the fence for four. There it goes. The Tory moves into double figures with those runs. A fee to the Tory. That's gone high in the air, and he's got away with it. He looked as if he was home to me. That over helped the run rate somewhat. Run, 
Well, that's through the gap, and it'll go for four. Oh, that was superb timing. Cracking shot. The secret there was that he got his feet into position early and had plenty of time to play the shot. New Zealand move on to 69. Macmillan waiting at the striker's end. Four more to the total. Oh, that uh, really was a super spell. He played that with a lovely straight back. He'll be pleased. New Zealand, uh, eight for 73. Fielded in the deep by Chanderpaul. close and the umpire's given it Macmillan goes for 30 the fielding team will feel they missed out by allowing a tail ender to make some runs Tuffy is off the mark. Eleven runs came from that over by Powell. That's gone high in the air. That's the first boundary for Tuffy. Tuffy continues. That's gone high in the air. Flattered into the boards. It was a good shot, but the bowler shouldn't be bowling at him. That was just a kitten's whisker away from the stumps. That was a good piece of bowling. He tried to surprise the batsman by slipping in a York. That was an athletic stop by the keeper. If he continues, that has to be close. Oh, that's a miserable total posted by New Zealand. New Zealand didn't bat too well today, and that's a disappointing total. The bowlers gave little away, and they really made the batsmen work for their runs. So they need 85 to win from 300 balls. Nash to Campbell. It's straight to a fielder. Ooh, 
Gale waiting at the striker's end. One more to the extras column. That's run away and could roll down the floor. That's the first boundary for Gale. Stopped by Adams. 11 runs came from that over for West Indies. So to sum up then, West Indies win by 10 wickets. Let's take a look at how the innings has gone so far.